Hello guys, welcome back again. It's Mr. Buck again. We are here doing what to do best. It's a lovely morning from East Africa, Kenya. We are the border of Tanzania and Kenya. This place used to have a lot of sugar cane, if you remember. We used to have sugar cane here. We used to have some vegetables here, but we cleared all this part. The one that's covered here are bricks. These are bricks. And also the surviving thing is a uh, is a paper. I call it paper. Paper. I love them when they are green. This ones you can use them uh, in chicken to cure the chicken flu. Uh, you crush them. You crush them. Then uh, you put some water. Then chicken can come and uh, be sipping. Like do they sip? Is it sipping? <laughs> they sip. <laughs> they sip. Yeah. So that one really kills, really helps. That's how now the uh, that's how the uh, yeah, like it helps them. They take it on a daily basis, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, this this place changed uh, since when you're having the funeral. This place really changed that you see how the ground is, but that we'll be able to sort it. And down here, that's where my sister is laying. That's my sister's grave, DJ. She's laying there. I know wherever she is. She's watching us. Watching us. She's one of she was one of my best sister. One of my best. She was more than a sister to me. She was like a mother. Because you know she has raised me. Uh, she has raised me since from primary school. Because you know most of the time I and my younger brother. We never lived with our parents. Never lived with our parents. So I've lived with her. When most people know me, because you know by then we were at the coastal parts of Kenya, so most people knew that uh, we are. Uh, she's our mother. She's our mother. Because when there's a time that I went to the coast, like someone asked me, "Hey, how's your mother doing?" That's the. That's uh, th that time she noted passed on you've really, really done a lot of uh, deforestation here you know this forest used to be used to have a good forest here but now you can see a lot of space a lot of space here you're going to plant more trees here you're going to plant more trees here as you can see it started and uh, you know this month we are expecting long rains long rains long rains I see uh, we have started planting some trees here but, uh, We are waiting for more rains to come so that we can plant and now uh, To bring this forest back on her like how it used to be you see there's a lot of space here There's a lot of space. It used to be a lot of trees here <laughs> So I said your time to come and that's his thing <laughs> when you see him here you No, know, it's getting messy <laughs> He says I don't never lies He's my younger brother. Yeah. On this place, you know, this land, this land as you see it here, you see the sand there, you know, here sand we have is it from the rivers. It's the best sand. So water comes, flows, and over there. So, you know, here we get sands from the rivers. All of this place. But the problem not getting it from here and now transporting it, unless you get someone there who will be taking it, then. Uh, uh, putting it up here and it's a long that place is deep deep you know even without uh, rain this water never dries this water never dries but uh, this part used to be this land used to you see you can see like there's a valley there this land used to be one 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 now because of rains and that it started cracking 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 it cracked it cracked so up there, where you sing up there, where that there are those bananas, that's still our land. Because you know, our land comes from up there, goes all this way, it goes up to down there, down there. So because of these, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the, how the land is breaking. So you can see like it's two different pieces. Up there you can see. Uh, huh. Can I pass? Can I pass? I'm going to show you something, huh? 
Let me see which one's here. Maybe coming back, it might be an issue. So you see all this sand, all this sand. All this sand. Because all this sand, man. All this. All this. But I look for a way so someone can come and start uh, putting it there. Because here, here we can collect like uh, like uh, two trucks. Two trucks. Two trucks here. So we're going to get someone because we already have a space there. So we built that uh, tiny house for sister there. We can put it there so that I can use it uh, to plaster that house. That's what I'll do. I'll get this one here. I'll get this one and get some people to come and collect it. That's what I'll do. So here, let me close. Now you see, I came from there. Now I'm up here. Uh, we had planted uh, yams here. This one belongs to our mom. Even at that age, she still uh, likes farming, man. So, you see, it already harvested this. Only this small portion here. Only this small portion here gave him good money. Gave him good money here. Gave him good money. This small portion, as you're seeing here, uh, this one gave him almost a uh, hundred dollars here. So, and there are not that many. So if you plant more, you'll get, because yams, yams are very expensive. I was like, wow. So if someone had a big space and plant, then we'll make good money here. Only this, it's almost $190, if I'm not wrong. Because they saw those guys who came. So one thing is, uh, after, after, after she has sold, she came and uh, dug them, she sold them, huh? the stems, she replanted the stems. Now that's a good thing about this. She replanted the stems here. You can see the stems are replanted. So you cut them and you see it has started germinating again. I don't know how long they take uh, to to grow. Maybe if I get time I'll be able to ask her that. And now you here. It's a small part only but gave her good money. Man. You see. So this land here all the way up there it's all ours so we're planning how we can uh, start now cultivating it because we had uh, uh, like uh, we planted some vegetables there that i'm going to show you and still here and also have our sister of ours who have who has uh, cows she comes and get this grass this grass grows by itself she come gets the grass and take it to her C cows oh, man. so you see uh, there's a time I did a video about these girls you call them curls or what here you know them as sukuma wiki these ones don't age they don't age so for instance if you want to replant them I'll come uh, you see like this one produced this one is the one that made this one produced you see I'll break these go plant them to plant them these small ones here 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 I'll come cut these things I go to plant them because now this one uh, I started uh, getting old because uh, I will plant different types different types different types so here we need to uh, put all these we have put all these because now they are not uh, doing well but up to here we can uh, start we can start like uh, giving it uh, that because uh, uh, there is a part that uh, we have started uh, replanting replanting and this one we call it uh, manure and this is manure you get this? it's manure this one I get it for my, my chicken and the guinea for so you shall come and bring it here. It's a good one, a good one. A good one. Bada swing. Salama. So for instance is this guy who harvested yam there. Yams. He has so many up down there. He really made good money. You know this is the advantage of Africa guys in the village. 
most in the village. Okay, there's some parts in this country that are, don't have a, they don't have weather climate like ours here. Because like us here, back in the village here, we got, uh, uh, we, we're having two seasons. The two rainy seasons, if I'm not wrong. Because we plant in January, February, then now August. Because uh, up now you can see people are planting. So we have two seasons, we're very, very lucky. Very lucky. You can see people have already planted. Some is uh, uh, already grown, you see. You see that? That's corn, you call it corn, what you call the maize. You see they planted. But some are still planting. Like I here have not yet planted. So maybe next week. Oh, the, uh, tomorrow Saturday, Monday. I'll do that, I'll do that. I'll be able to go show you, I'll do some videos on, on that land. So, that's what I was telling you, we are so blessed here, we are so blessed here in the village. We are so blessed guys. And look even at the sunlight, the sun, 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 sunlight, uh, you know. We are so much blessed, we are so much blessed in the village here. So, but you know in the past, uh, so people used to have a, a lot of land, a lot of land. I remember so now we moved here, uh, when we moved to, when our parents moved here, uh, I was a small boy. I think I was at around, I don't know how old I was when they bought this land. Maybe, I'm not quite sure by the way, maybe 12 years, yeah. There were no houses here at all, at all, at all. There were no houses. Only us, there's another retired area chief who lives far there. And there's another home, another home. There's a home up there. I don't think my camera can show up there. There's another home there. So you're only three of us in this area. Three of us. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you guys, Nyabuhans is really growing, it's really growing. And uh, you know, even the more now the content creators started uh, show causing the village, showing it has attracted more people, more people to come down here. More people has, have come down here, more people are looking for land here. And there's a reason to why the land prices are going high. Uh, three to four years coming, trust you me, even we ourselves. I don't know if we'll be able to uh, be able uh, will be able like uh, to buy land here or purchase land here. For instance, here where we are living now here. Forget about the other sides here. Here, uh, if you get a land that it's almost a hundred by a hundred, it's one point something m here. It used not to be like that. One point something. That's not even 100 by 100. That's a land that is close to 100 by 100, I think, feet. It's almost to. There's another land that's sold just into the Seventh day church up there. It's uh, 75 by 100. They're asking, asking price. Asking price. 1.2. Just imagine 1.2. That's how crazy things are, man. So I'm also lucky that our parents were able to get because this land they bought it at a cheaper price here. Because the land, this land from here up to down there, it's two point something acres. Yeah. Two point something acres. During those years, they bought it at a. I think almost to. $300. Yeah, $300. That's like uh, 30,000, 30 to almost 40,000 Kenya shillings here. During those years, <laughs> crazy, right? But now, if we tell you the value of this land, you run away. You'll be scared. You'll be scared. Even there are people who came, like, oh, before now, uh, even now we had uh, constructed this uh, uh, building here, they came like, oh, because they saw where it's stationed, like, because uh, um, some people have sold such kind of lands around here. They came and asked that. Dad was like, I'm not interested. 
I'm not interested. They're giving him good money, like, hey, let's move this. Dad said, hey, my own reason is to why I purchased this place. But now, no, I can't. I can't even if you'd give me how much I can't. That was uh, the stand of the old man. <laughs> Guys, keep watching our videos, keep subscribing, like, share, and comment. Uh, leave a sweet comment. Yep. And always remember to support all the Nyabwansa YouTubers. Support the Nyabwansa YouTubers. We all mean peace. We are not here for divisions. We are not here to fight one another. We are here together as a community. That's why we say, like, uh, we are like. Uh, we are championing uh, to make it great again to make it great again guys yeah right, look at all this uh, this what has been done mm, crazy. So, kesho na mlekezi wa mawa hivi? So, tomorrow we'll be doing uh, the backfilling of the rocks. So, in the backfilling of the rocks here. So we've now filled after we did uh, uh, these pillars now. So that's why we removed the timbers and did all this. You can see. So we're doing the backfilling into these. Now there are three rooms. This one, the small ones. Because you already have the rocks there. The rocks are there. So these ones here. You can see today this work that was being done here. You can see. So guys, this is where we are now. You can see the work that has been done here. Uh, we'll be able uh, to do the back filling here. We'll be able to do the back filling here. So that's what we're going here. Remember this part uh, we had not yet completed uh, this place, but because uh, uh, of uh, uh, this. For the most, is it on any? Is the basis column? Ah, so it is a column. So this column is starting to ask from the mason. So you see, we are able to do all that. The last one there is that column there. Is that one there? All of those were able to be done. We were able to do them. Uh, able to do them uh, yesterday. So today is the work that. Uh, has been going on here. So it has been going on here. You can see it goes all the way up there. We did uh, the back railings, so that's why. Uh, uh, that's why the reason why we had left this part here. This part was left because we had it complete with the columns. Even this one was done. You can see we now just done some curing, cold water curing. Yeah, that's what we've done here. Water curing. So, uh, that's what's going on here. And uh, there's a part there that uh, we need to finish. We finish it. Then now we wait for to bring the maram. So the remaining part is the maram. The maram is the one that I will bring now to put on top of these rocks, to put on top of these rocks. And for that, we'll be able not to, I would call it, uh, there's some, uh, that's still, I have forgotten its name. Mm. You know, they call it a uh, DPC, the DPC. And there's one wire that usually pulls. I think that wire we won't be put uh, everywhere, but it's somehow somewhere here because it's a bit expensive. It will be put somewhere here. It's like a net. Then now we start now 
then uh, we'll do the what the slab the slab so far that's how we are and, uh, and that's where we are at the moment guys at the moment because this is a major major project a major major project it's a, uh, <coughs> sorry i'll say it's the first project that i've ever had it's a big project that i've ever handled so hopefully god willing i'll be able i'll be able uh, to complete it yeah sure so guys uh keep on watching keep on subscribing to this channel uh, uh kindly remember do not skip the ads do not skip the ads do not skip the ads and also i'll say it here uh i've been able to receive so many messages concerning uh what we've been doing on the podcast guys as i repeat here that uh, i mean no harm i re i mean no harm no harm or to cause any harm i mean like uh no hate at all at all i'm not that kind of a person that uh, i'm raised that way uh what i like to remind you guys that on the podcast uh we never wanted to be like uh uh, like uh, either leaning on one side or another side we are all neutral trust me we are all neutral that's what we do today i'll host this i'll host uh, a different guest tomorrow another one tomorrow bring a youtuber another bring a businessman either another day we'll be able to bring uh, maybe someone uh, who is fighting maybe with depression or that we are like it's all inclusive not like uh, we're selective guys so I've seen so much messages. I've seen some people have been unsubscribing from my channel. Uh, it's well, you know, everyone, uh, everyone has uh, what? What? Hell? How will I put it? Uh, everyone, you know, we we all have different feelings on how we feel towards things. You get that? How people react in things are totally different. Like how I react to something, and how someone reacts, it's totally, totally different. Totally different. I do understand people. If you're pissed with me, I'm sorry, but I never meant to offend anyone. I never meant to offend anyone. Because uh, most of the people are coming to the channel here, to my YouTube channel here, commenting. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, you can go check the comments. I don't delete any comment. I say, like, from those, let people express their feelings. I let people talk it from their heart. There's no need of a. Uh, when I see maybe. A bad comment uh, but only the comments that i won't keep it's an insult why are you insulting me throwing words but what's it me i won't that i delete but when you come in a, uh, a mature well you express your feelings it's well i'll leave your comment there but uh insulting someone or insulting me or either my family uh that's when i cannot be able uh, to keep it here but let's keep it professional guys so remember to subscribe to my youtube channel uh take me to 10k subscribers we can do it guys you can do it as we continue with this this uh, mega project here mega project here i think it's one of the biggest uh project uh done by our subscriber in the village here yeah and you know many things have been uh, said many issues but what i'll advise my fellow youtubers kindly guys if someone reaches you out if someone reaches you out she or she wants to do a project a certain project be real uh, be honest be honest there are many stories there are many things that are coming up uh, whereby some are calling people money taking the hard earned money and then telling them you can do nothing no we should we should my friend, if people start falling on you, they'll come and get you. And trust me, authorities, governments have long hands. They'll come get you even from your hiding places. Do not take something that does not belong to you. Do not. For instance, like I hear, all that is done here, my client knows. All the process done here from the purchase of land. And you know, I made sure that uh, the moment uh, we're buying, I send him a copy. He goes sign there, then return it. Then I take it to ad the advocate and take it to the seller. So we remain with copies. I think uh, it's good to do something in a transparent way rather than when someone st stays there and keep on crying to you. Keep on saying that uh, uh, you can't 
her or him money it's no good it's no good because that one brings a bad image a bad image to our village because you know such kind of projects here this is the one that will come and uplift the communities around here uplift the communities around here for instance if this is done people will come and get work here there are many families around here they'll come get work here some will be able to be like groundsmen some will be able like uh, uh, to come and uh, uh, clean the houses that's one way that's one way maybe when the owner comes here you don't know what the what plants is having here so it's good uh, it's good to make this village it's good to make this village to be good for invest investors it's good to make th this village to be attractive to investors so guys i think i'm going to end this one here remember to not skip the ads i'll be back again with more and more and more i love you from the bottom of my heart salute you i love you i love you all god bless you